What is going on, my good old friends of YouTube? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So it is about to get real for SoFi as the company is set to report earnings in less than 12 hours from now. So we have to break down the charts, the estimates for EPS and revenue and what I'm looking to do with the stock. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe and check out the Patreon if you guys want to see me build out my portfolio and get access to the Discord and all my charts and ideas throughout the day. That's on Patreon down below check out the qr code right here or go to stasurfest.com slash patreon and with that being said guys cheers let's dive right into the video so like i said it is about to get real for sofi as again the company is set to report earnings in the morning on monday morning and if you're watching this video on monday the earnings already came out right so the stock's probably moving like crazy in either direction hopefully up we'll see nothing's guaranteed guys obviously but heading into the earnings report which again is tomorrow on friday we had a very good day very strong day the stock was at seven dollars and 65 cents in the morning and we uptrended all day, no joke, from 765 all the way up to roughly what seven dollars and ninety cents. Then, after market, which is really good news, we continued to truck along. This thing got all the way up to eight dollars and 13 cents after the bell. So, we're talking a move of around six percent from the opening price on Friday to where the stock got after the bell, which is really good. And mind you, we broke over eight dollars per share in the aftermarket, which is really good overall for the bulls. And here on the five day, obviously we're holding an uptrend. We're reversing. We're above the moving averages. We have a golden cross, all that good stuff. And on the 10 day chart, we have the same thing. And on the 20 day chart, we're pushing to highs as well. You guys can see based on Friday, you know, thanks to the aftermarket, now that I'm looking at it, we took out the highs from the beginning of this month. Earlier in this month on the 9th, it looks like, yeah, we hit $7.95, $8. We failed to break out of $8. Then we sold down to about $7 roughly, right? You guys can see that. So we broke out of that point. We had a new high on the one hour chart, which is phenomenal overall for the bull. So before we get too carried away here, let me actually show you guys the estimates, give you all a refresher here so you can get an idea of what's going on here with the earnings, the estimates, some you know basic brief numbers with SoFi. And I know I covered this recently. I know guys, I know, don't don't hit the dislike button or get mad at me. All I'm doing is doing a refresher, right? Making sure all you guys know what is to be expected. And it takes a minute. Why not? Let's just do it now really quickly. So for earnings per share, and this is on Yahoo Finance, by the way, not sponsored. I genuinely use Yahoo Finance for some of my research, right? For part of it, obviously not for all of it. Uh, but yeah, based on Yahoo Finance, based on 12 analysts listed here on their website, we can see the average EPS estimate is a cent, right? The average estimate is one penny of EPS. The low estimate is negative two cents, right? So negative, not a profit, which that would be a disappointment. And the high estimate is six cents, which that would be the opposite of a disappointment. That would be amazing. If they came in above, in my opinion, one, two pennies of EPS this quarter, three cents, That'd be amazing, right? That'd be phenomenal. I don't think the stock is pricing that in. And I feel like we would rock it like crazy if this EPS number were to surprise. You guys remember what happened last quarter, right? The first gap profitable quarter. Well, let's see if we can continue, um, you know, stacking on top of that, building on top of that, which is projected to happen. We shall see. A year ago, they lost five cents of EPS in the quarter. So either way, guys, whether we do a penny, negative two cents, which I don't think we'll do, but let's say we do, um, you know, five cents, three cents, whatever it may be, year over year, SoFi is growing their EPS. It's it's getting better. It's improving, which is really good news, right? And coming down here to revenue, let me show you guys a little bit here what's going on. Actually, let me make my big old face a bit smaller. That'd be nice, right? There we go. Uh, so we can see here, Based on 10 analysts, average estimate is $556 million. The low estimate is $550 million. And the high estimate is $565 million of revenue with them doing 460 
last year. So either way, guys, whether it's 550, 560, 65, they're going to be growing pretty nicely year over year. Sales growth right now is projected at about 20, 21%, which is good. It's not what it was, let's say a couple years ago, whatever, but they can get back to that hopefully. Uh, Maybe not that exact growth. Either way, it's still pretty decent. 21% is pretty good Um, you know, year over year projected, at least in my opinion. And you guys probably know the market cap heading into earnings is right around 8 bill, I think a little under 8 billion. Um, Actually, no, a little over 8 billion, $8.31 billion company here. And let's see, do we go over $10 billion this week? I don't know. It all comes down to these earnings. And obviously, that's a speculation. We don't know what's going to happen. Please trade at your own risk, guys. Full disclosure, I'm long SoFi, though. So you guys know where my money's at. But yeah, could it go to $10 billion? It sure could. Could it go to $7 billion, $7.5 billion? That could happen as well. It depends on how the stock um, obviously moves after earnings. But yeah, guys, that's a quick breakdown here on the estimates very quickly, as I'm sure you guys um, already remember, we covered that a little bit ago, but just a refresher again for the newer viewers out there, or maybe you forgot. Either way, we're breaking out, heading into earnings. We're pushing past the highs from earlier this month. We're pretty much at a three to four week high right now on the stock, maybe even longer. Let me see here, guys, on the four hour time frame. Yeah, more than that. Last time we were at $8.10.15 roughly was in the beginning of March. So we're talking almost seven weeks ago, pretty much roughly in that ballpark. So yeah, guys, we're looking pretty good. We're pushing past the moving averages on the four hour chart here. Again, we're taking the highs out from earlier this month. And now the next main resistance, I would say, obviously there are a couple of them, uh, but some key ones here, we have $9.20. That's a big one. Another big one here is 875. Let me draw that out right here. 875. That was the high from the middle of October, roughly the high from the beginning of November, beginning of December as well. So we could fill this gap potentially to 875, in my opinion, um, based on the momentum that we're seeing right now. And if earnings crush and guidance is strong, and then if we break 875, the next gap from there would be around 920, right? 920, we failed back in the middle, beginning of September. We also failed there after the last earnings report. And on top of that, we failed at about 9.20 in the end of September, not or not September, excuse me, end of February, early March, again for the third time, right? So yeah, that could be where we go potentially if this thing starts ripping post earnings, which fingers crossed, guys, I'm hoping that's the case. Obviously, I'm not in this as a short-term trade. I'm not going to dump out if it does end up ripping, but yeah, I mean, Who wouldn't want their long-term investment to go up like crazy after earnings, right? Who wouldn't want that? (laughs) But yeah, we're going to see how it plays out. Make sure to subscribe here on the YouTube channel, guys, because we're going to do a bunch more content tomorrow on the charts, the actual earnings. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you might as well follow me on X and on TikTok for more content at Stocks Talk Stocks. And if you guys have not gotten your 10 stocks yet, your fractional shares of the Mag 7 stocks for Moomoo, that's a $50 $50 value, guys. Use that link down below. Check out the QR code right here or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get your stocks. And don't forget to check out the Patreon if you want to see me build out my Patreon portfolio, get access to the Discord, my charts, and more access to me throughout the day. All of that's on Patreon down below or at stasurfest.com slash Patreon or check out the QR code right here, guys. And with that being said, Good luck this week. Let's see what SoFi does. I'm excited. I'll see you later.